India is holding its sixth phase of Lok Sabha elections today. Voting is underway as we speak. And here is everything you need to know about the key battlegrounds and the key contestants. Take a look. The fight for the low house of the Indian parliament has reached its sixth and penultimate phase. 429 seats were contested in the first five phases. The sixth phase will see voting on 58 more seats across six states and two union territories. Let's put this on a map. All seven seats in Delhi and 10 in Haryana are up for grabs. Voting in Jammu and Kashmir's Anantanag and Rajori was slated for phase three, but was delayed after objections by the ruling party. Both places will have voting in this phase, and the hope is that the turnout will be high like the rest of Jammu and Kashmir. After this phase, voting will conclude in the Union Territory. Elections will continue in the rest of the states that go to the polls in the sixth phase, like Bihar, Jharkhand, Orissa, Uttar Pradesh and West Bengal. Let's look at the key faces, starting with Delhi, that is definitely in the spotlight. The Indian National Congress and Aam Aadmi Party have a seat-sharing formula. In the seven seats, AAP has fielded candidates on four seats and the Congress on three all against the BJP. Interestingly, the BJP won all seats in Delhi last time. This time, the competition is expected to be tougher in New Delhi, with BJP fielding former External Affairs Minister Sushma Suraj's daughter and the AAP naming lawyer-turned-politician Somnath Bharti against her. The Congress has put up Kanhaiya Kumar in North East Delhi, who is likely to have an uphill battle against BJP's celebrity face Manoj Tiwari. BJP leader and Union Minister Rao Inderjeet Singh is hoping to continue his victory run from Haryana's Gurgaon, a satellite city on the outskirts of Delhi. Against him is actor-turned-politician Raj Babbar of the Congress. In Uttar Pradesh, a fierce battle is expected in Azamgarh, where the cousin of Samajwadi Party's President Akhilesh Yadav will take on the BJP's candidate, actor-singer Dinesh Lal Yadav, who is looking to retain his seat. In Jammu and Kashmir, former Chief Minister and the PDP's Mehbooba Mufti is aiming to enter Parliament from Anantnag Rajori. She is facing Mian Altaf Ahmed of the National Conference Party. Coming to logistics, one million polling stations have been set up for the elections, with 15 million polling agents and 5.5 million voting machines. Voting starts at 7 a.m. local time and ends at 6 p.m. So if it happens to be your turn to vote, Go out and cast your vote. Your report be on World is One. To get you all the on-ground updates, our correspondents are fanned out across key locations in India. But for now, we have with us our correspondent Dharam Jyot Kaur, joining us live from Delhi. Hi, Dharam Jyot. As India, as Delhi heads to polls today, talk to us about the political landscape in the Indian national capital as we are witnessing a one-on-one -on -one contest in all the seven seats between the BJP and the INDI Alliance in New Delhi. Also, take us through the key battlegrounds in the national capital today. Well, Raisha, as you rightly pointed out, a very intense political landscape in the national capital. Uh, all seven seats up for grabs. Uh, interestingly, while the BJP has maintained its stronghold on these seven seats through the 2014 and 2019 Lok Sabha elections, uh, they have changed their candidates uh, on six out of the seven seats this time. Uh, the only uh, leader who currently is still holding on to his seat and defending it is uh, uh, BJP leader Manoj Tiwari, who is a two-time sitting MP uh, from the ruling party. And he is facing Congress leader Kanahiya Kumar uh, in, in these elections today. There's also another seat that will be very interesting to watch out for, which is in the New Delhi constituency, where we have a lawyer versus lawyer battle. So we have uh, former foreign minister, the late Sushma Swaraj's daughter, Bansuri Swaraj, who is making her electoral debut on behalf of the BJP. And standing against her is the Aam Aadmi Party heavyweight, uh, you know, who has been a three-time MLA in the past as well. So um, very interesting to see how these dynamics pan out, especially because the political landscape has 
has been uh, so intense in the past couple of months. We've seen the sitting chief minister uh, go in, uh, you know, he, he was taken by the enforcement directorate uh, in custody. Uh, he's been in uh, prison for about 50 days before the Supreme Court granted him a bail to campaign for his party. Uh, we also seeing the Amadni party, uh, you know, in the center of a lot of other controversies regarding some of their party leaders as well. On the other hand, a tough contest for BJP as well uh, because it will be, you know, a, a make or break situation in terms of whether they can hold on to uh, all the seats in Delhi uh, for the third time in a row. So the key question, of course, here arises amidst all this heat, amidst rising temperatures, what will be uh, that one issue, what will be that one sticking point, uh, you know, that will be the highlight for voters as they step out today to cast their ballot. Raisha? Right, Dharam Jod. Haryana is also heading to polls today. It is a single phase polling in the state. All 10 seats up for grabs there. Talk to us about why the battle for Haryana is unique uh, this time around. Well, Raisha, we saw just a couple of weeks ago, uh, as far as the state government in Haryana is concerned, there's sort of what the BGP calls a double engine mechanism already uh, in place for them. So the central and state government both, uh, you know, being ruled by the Bharati Janata Party as far as Haryana is concerned. Uh, but two weeks ago, we saw uh, things take a dramatic turn when uh, the state government in Haryana lost its majority after three independent candidates backed out their support. Uh, so, of course, uh, state elections are also due in Haryana later this year. They're supposed to be held by or before October um, 2024. Uh, so it remains to be seen how this entire political battle will pan out, uh, not just for the opposition um, India bloc that is contesting uh, on all 10 seats in Haryana, uh, but also for the BJP that is looking at a very uh, you know shifting dynamic uh, in terms of how the state governance uh, is panning out for them there are also certain issues that are uh, in the limelight for Haryana as we know it is a major uh, jot belt uh, it is also uh, you know a, a state that is very heavy on uh, farmer presence uh, as it is a major agrarian state for India uh, so how all of these issues pan out for uh, the ruling party can the opposition, uh, you know, kind of make any sort of headway? Uh, can they win any seats back? Because the BGP has, um, you know, it, it won all 10 seats in the 2019 Lok Sabha election. Uh, so how this pans out for Haryana will also be interesting to watch, not just in the Lok Sabha elections as they vote today, but also in the upcoming state elections. So a, a lot on the stake for both the BJP and the opposition in that state. Right, Dharam Jo, thank you for joining us on the show with all the on-ground updates. We'll, of course, be tracking the polls in the Indian national capital with you very closely.